Alright, so good day everyone. So this is our um, third video, third and last video for the topic DNA and uh, genes. Yeah. So this is the module number two, third, third, topic, uh, third topic which is the mutation and genetic disorder. So uh, from the previous discussion that we have about DNA, so we already know what's the function of the DNA, how does it work, and how does it work along with its uh, counterpart which is the RNA. Then on the second discussion that we have, uh, we encountered how DNA creates a uh, protein. Yan. So with the help also from its uh, counter which is the RNA. So you already know what are the process involved in protein synthesis. So in this in this manner so in this uh, in this topic that we will have today we will try to discover what will happen if the dna sequence in your body is uh, drastically changed yan whether by external or uh, by hereditary so what we have right here is mutation and genetic disorder so before we start our uh, discussion with this topic so i know every one of you are familiar with this scene. Fuck your banner. Now might be a really good time for you to get angry. That's my secret, Captain. I'm always angry. So, you see how Dr. Banner transformed to become an incredible hope. So, as you can see from this video clip coming from Avengers, so this is a clear textbook example of epigenetics. So, if 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 all of you know that uh, if all of you know that uh, Doctor Banner becomes an incredible hawk when it he is uh, angry. So, being angry makes uh, his body mutate instantly so in reality it's not uh, it's not that instant so it is a gradual progress of mutation so in this uh, in this uh, video clip in this video clip it is a clear example of what they call epigenetics so how environment affects the gene expression so in this case the environment here is the or the the factor here coming from the environment is anger then dr banner will transform to become incredible hope instantly so so we will try to discover how is this uh, uh event possible so let's go in our topic which is mutation and genetic disorder right. okay right so Alright, so what is mutation? So mutation is a change in DNA sequence that may affect whole chromosome or just one gene. So take note that one. So the keyword here is uh, change. Yeah, change in the DNA sequence. Yeah. So what is important here is mutation occurs in DNA. Yeah. Sequence of DNA. So it might affect a chromosome or just one gene in that particular sequence that you have right there so what are the different uh, what are the different kinds of mutation so kinds of mutation we have chromosomal and we have gene mutation so right so that's mutation next one so what is a chromosomal mutation so so chromosomal mutation Right, so chromosomal mutation is an unpredictable change that occurs in a chromosome from the word itself, uh, chromosomal, so which means it occurs in the chromosome itself. So these changes are brought by problems during meiosis. So some problems in uh, some problems during meiosis in um, the process of this cell division. So if there's a problem occurred here, so there will be uh, there might be a chromosomal mutation that might occur, or this chromosomal mutation might be caused by an external factors like uh, mutagens or mutation agents yeah. so like um, what are these mutation agents it can be it can be radiation and yeah. or uh, from food yeah 
food that we eat yan so if there is a uh, chemical from food and for chemical and from food so it might cause a chromosomal mutation so take note that chromosomal mutation can result in changes in number so number of chromosomes so as we all know in humans we have 46 chromosome 23 from our uh, father then 23 from our mother so 46 this is the being a human we sh you should have a 46 number of chromosome so in chromosomal mutation this 46 will uh, all right there the result can be uh, changes in the number of this uh, the chromosome number in our body so changes in structure as well so aside from the 46 number so there might be changes in structure that might happen in the chromosome so later you will see what a uh, chromosome looks like when uh, it undergoes chromosomal mutation right next one right so this is the chromosome so this is the chromosome that you have encountered when you were uh, grade 8 so so as you can see here we have your uh, we have a chromosome here with two chromatids so if you uh, if you later count them out so it is in total of 46 yeah and we have 46 chromosome over here so this is human yeah human uh, chromosomes right next one so on the other hand we have the gene mutation so what does a gene mutation mean so gene mutation is the permanent so please take note permanent alteration in the dna sequence that makes up a gene so it's not temporary this is a permanent alteration so again of dna sequence so so on the if the other one is in chromosome this one is in the dna sequence all right that makes up your chromosome it goes directly in the dna molecule so the gene mutation can be divided or can be classified into two ways so we have hereditary mutations and so from the word itself hereditary this is a mutation that is pass from offspring or pre parent to offspring so yeah from a parent so if the parent has this particular mutation it it might likely to be uh, it might likely to be passed down to its offspring and to the next generation so virtually yan, in a person's life virtually every cell in the body yan. so every cell in the body comes from uh, one uh, of your parents yan. so this mutation is also called germline mutation why because they are present in the parents egg or sperm cell so technically those cells are what they call germ cells yeah, we call it germ cells that's egg and then sperm cells so if there are if there are already alteration in these cells that we have right here might likely the offspring must uh, might also get that particular mutation example of these mutations are some cancers yeah, abnormal uh, abnormal deposition of uh, cholesterol yeah, and so and other stuffs yeah right so that is hereditary mutation next one on the other hand uh, if there's hereditary there's an acquired or somatic mutation so the acquired or somatic mutation from the word itself acquired which means you just get this mutation out of your environment so it can be so as the word implies so environmental factors play a role in this kind of mutation it might likely uh, you encounter an ultraviolet uh, uh, ultraviolet radiation yeah so your the ultraviolet radiation make certain changes from your bodies especially the skin and yeah so once uh, once this environment environmental factors kicks in on the mutation the copies of the dna during replication will will are rather mistakes in the dna replication might likely to occur so meaning to say this is an external event yeah an external factor can can cause your acquired or somatic mutation so examples here are radiation so gamma alpha beta radiation and chemical from food that we eat yeah 
right? So that is your gene mutation. Alright, so let's start with different types of uh, uh, gene mutation that we have right here. So let's start with uh, what they call deletion. So as you can see on this diagram, so there's a part of the chromosome that is... Uh, um, there's a part of your chromosome that is uh, deleted. So in this case, we have letter D. So it is deleted on this uh, chromosome. So, alright. So what will happen to the organism if this one occurs? So uh, the, the deletion in DNA level or sequence level. So as you can see, alright. So you have the same codon pattern over here or sequence rather. So and it produces uh certain amino acid on that particular se sequence now, then what if if you delete one single nucleotide from that sequence what will happen so from histidine it will totally change the whole sequence to become different yan so if this involves uh if this involves in the formation of a, of a body part so the effect would be drastically uh, there will be a drastic changes to the organism. Yeah. So, as you can see, yeah. So the effect will be uh, dangerous. Yeah. So next one. All right. So in the chromosomal level, so in the chromosomes, the deletion that we see here. So this this is the deletion number five. Yeah. So it occurs in the number five chromosome, and as you can see here, this chromosome is different from the, its. Uh, its partner yeah so all chromosomes are homologous yeah they're homologous chromosomes it must be similar to its uh, pair yeah so uh, in this case the one is deleted and it looks like the it, it looks different now from its uh, partner yeah so example of uh, example of a disease related to deletion of chromosome is the cry Crydocat syndrome. There you go. So in uh, the person here looks normal, but the thing here is uh, because of that deletion in number five chromosome, the sound of the voice of this person when crying, just like when you hear a cat that is crying so yeah so th that is the cry cat syndrome okay next one all right another one is cystic fibrosis so cystic fibrosis is the abnormal uh, accumulation of um, mucus yan, or and uh, mucus in the lungs yan so because of some uh, errors in DNA sequence, there is uh, an uncontrollable uh, amount of mucus that is formed in the lungs of this person. So one effect is this uh, bulging fingers that we have right here, yeah. And eventually, one of the one of the major effects of this is death, yeah, on the person, yeah. That is cystic fibrosis. Right. So as, as I have said earlier. And accumulation of mucus in the lungs, yeah. So with no, um, with no, and with no, uh, any without any cause, yeah. Yeah. All right. Next what? Uh, next one. Next kind of mutation is insertion. So in this case, uh, one part of the chromatid, one part of the chromatid, uh, suddenly breaks from its. Um, how do I? How should I say this? Um, from its uh from its one uh, one portion of the chromatid breaks up and then attaches its itself to another chromatid so as you can see here so this is the this is the part and then when it uh detached yeah it attaches itself to another chromosome so what happened is there is an an error or there will be an awkward um the thing here is uh, there will be an awkward yeah. there will be an awkward uh, part here which is uh, attached to that certain chromosome 
Alright, so in this insertion mutation that we have right here, so in the sequence, uh, DNA sequence level, so again, uh, CAT reads for uh, histidine. So when there is an insertion, just of one nucleotide, if you insert one nucleotide in any sequence that we have right here, from histidine, it will transform into different form of amino acid. So, if this, uh, if this sequence involved the formation of, again, body parts, so what will happen to the organism? There will be a drastic effect on the organism. So, right, so changing one nucleotide will have a large effect on the organisms, uh, organism, yeah, rather. Alright, so example of... Uh, Example of the disease under uh, under insertion is the Huntington's disease. Yeah, so Huntington's disease is the inability of the body to move. Yeah, so motor movement. So it involves motor movement. Yeah, right. So that's Huntington's this Huntington's disease. All right. Next kind of mutation is the inversion. All right. So uh, the inversion. It occurs when a chromosome breaks out and reinserted backward. So it involves uh, one chromosome or the same chromosome. So as you can see here, this is the normal one. Then when these two breaks out and it reinserts them again on the same chromosome but in different uh, orientation. So as you can see, there is a difference. Uh, there's a difference between these two uh, part of your chromosome. So that is inversion. So what will in a, in a sequence level in a DNA sequence level? So let's take a look. What will happen? All right. So yeah. So as you can see here, yeah. As you can see here in this uh, in this blood that we have right here. So numbers two and 6 are normal Ayan. so 2 and 6 are normal then number 1 alright so as you can see your number 1 right here inversion occurs so there is no uh, sequence of DNA that it should should be right here so what happened is it is reinserted into different uh, place Ayan. so 3 and 5 so let's take a look at 3 and 5 yan. so 3 and 5 this is an inversion in female but the thing here is the female is a carrier of that disease so what is that disease? hemophilia yan. so hemophilia is an example of uh, inversion yan. Okay. So next inversion so hemophilia yan. so next Next kind of uh, mutation is translocation. This happens when uh, when a chromosome, when a part of the chromosome breaks up and added to a different chromosome. So, alright, so it's a bit, uh, alright, so it's the same like inversion but it doesn't occur in the same chromosome. It ha The reinsertion of that break, uh, the reinsertion of that part that separates on that chromosome happens on the different chromosome yeah so what do we have right here so this is the no alright so the one on top is the normal here you go right so this is the normal then below is the effect of translocation so as you can see yeah WXY yeah, and this is this is where the part should be located then what happened is uh, it separated from this part the WX separated on this part and instead going to another uh, another chromosome which is uh, not the pair of this one not a pair of this one but on the other chromosome which is uh, it attaches itself there so you have now your W X A B C D E F G so again uh, if this happens on an organism the effect is uh, drastic and so that is translocation all right so in a karyotype like the one that we have right here in a karyotype that uh, that we have right here so that the 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 separation of that part happened on number 9 
right? So, what happened here is the, this part is translocated on the chromosome number 22 and the part of number 22 is translocated on the chromosome number 9. Yan. So, and there is a translocation that happened. Yeah. So, example of translocation is the Alagil syndrome. Alagil syndrome. Right. So, the other one is the Burkitt uh, lymphoma. Yan. So, abnormal uh, abnormal growth in the lymph nodes. Yan. So, there is a translocation here of some uh, genes in a particular chromosome. Particularly number 8 chromosome. Right. Burkitt lymphoma. Alright. The other one is uh, another kind of mutation is the missense mutation. Alright. So, when we say missense mutation, this is a type of mutation. Uh, this, this type of mutation is a change in one DNA base pair that results in the substitution of one amino acid. Alright. So for another protein made by a gene. So, let's take a look on what is this missense mutation all about. So, if we take a look at this sequence, so what is a missense mutation? Again, this is the normal, right? So, this is the normal sequence. So, what will happen here? If you replace, <coughs> alright, so if you replace one nucleotide with different nucleotide, alright, you do not insert, you do not, uh, uh, you do not delete, Yan. All right, you did not delete, you did not uh, insert, but we just replace the A to become C. All right, so what will happen? From histidine, it will become proline. So unlike the other mutations that we have encountered uh, a while ago, so as you can see, it affects only one codon. All right, so it affects only one sequence. But still, even though it affects only one sequence, the effect on the organism here will be drastic. Right? So, if it is, uh, 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 although uh, if, if this part is, uh, is very important or if this sequence is very important in the formation of body parts, so might be a drastic effect on the organism that might likely be seen. Yeah. Alright, so that is missense mutation. So as you can see, the other me, uh, the other codons are not affected. So still, histidine is the amino acid that that still uh, they produce. Yeah, right. That is missense mutation. Example is the sickle cell anemia. Yeah. So we have here, uh, so sickle cell, sickle, sickle cell anemia. Yeah. All right. So example of missense mutation is sickle cell anemia. So what will ha what happened here? So the cell here, it, the normal blood cell is round. All right. So when you have a sickle cell anemia, eventually your cell becomes a crescent moon. That's just like the one that we have right here. It looks like a sickle, yeah, or it looks like a crescent moon, yeah. Okay. Next one. Tysak's disease, so yeah, Tysak's disease, inability of the brain to grow normal, yeah. So as you can see here, this uh, person or this uh, this person right here has a Tysak's disease, and uh, what what we have right here is a mental retardation, yeah, and um, all right, abnormal brain growth, yeah, to be exact. Alright, so next one is the nonsense mutation. Alright, so the nonsense mutation is the change in one DNA base pair. Alright, instead of substituting one amino acid for another, the altered DNA sequence prematurely signals the cell to stop building a protein. Yan. So, uh, in this case, if we have missense, we have the nonsense. So, uh, this is a type of mutation in which suddenly the protein synthesis suddenly stops yeah so what uh, what is the eventual uh, what is the effect so shortened protein all right so if your if your protein synthesis suddenly uh, stop or prematurely stop yeah 
shortened protein will be produced. So, if that protein is designed to make a certain part function, so there will be a malfunction or improperly functioning of that particular uh, enzyme or a particular part will be, you know, will be its uh, improper function of that particular part will be an effect. Yeah. So, that's not, uh, if you take a look at this, um, if we take a look at this uh, sequence that we have right here, this is the normal. And the Mises mutation that we have right here, so we have glutamine, glutamine, glutamine. And suddenly, this, the nucleotide is replaced by a nucleotide that triggers the protein synthesis to stop. So that triggers the protein synthesis to stop. So what happened to the chain of the amino acid? Instead of this long it is shortened all right so it is shortened so if this is an enzyme this enzyme is uh will cause an error on something yeah that's the nonsense mutation all right next one next one is the frame shift mutation next one is the frame shift mutation so in this mutation Alright, so what happened is uh, the addition or loss of DNA bases that changes the genes reading frame. So, it makes sense. So, there is a deletion. Then, after the deletion, the reading frame or the frame or sabi lang ng, uh, we, the reading frame on that DNA bases will totally change. So, what will be the result? The result is a non-functional protein. Right, so let's take a look on how uh, this frame shift mutation occurs. All right, so as you can see here, this is the normal. So this is the normal uh, amino acid sequence. All right, on a certain DNA sequence. So histidine, serine, histidine, valine, leucine, methionine, leucine. All right, so what happened here is uh, in a certain in a transcription process, this particular nucleotide is forgotten. Alright? So, it, the, the transcription process forgot to read this nucleotide. So, what happened is, if you forgot to read that nucleotide, what will happen? There will be a shifting. There will be a shifting on how you will read the other sequence. So, instead of CAT, it's, it is now ATT. So, it will become not anymore histidine, it will become isoleucine, histidine, treonine, tyrosine, serine, cysteine, and tyrosine. So, which is completely different from the one on top. Alright, so, this is, uh, this is uh, the case of... Uh, uh, for, this is the case in which uh, the mRNA or the RNA polymerase forgot to read a certain nucleotide in the DNA sequence. Alright, so that's the frame shift mutation. Alright, next one. The non-repeated expansion mutation. So, from the word itself, repeated expansion mutation. So, it means that the nucleotide repeats our short DNA sequence that are repeated a number of times in a row. So, what will be the result of this type of mutation? The result is the protein function is improper. Yeah. So, there will be an error in that function of that particular protein. Okay. So, let's take a look what is the repeated expansion looks like. Alright. So, this is the repeated expansion. So, what happened here is, uh, this is the normal on top. And what happened here below is, uh, one codon or one certain region of the sequence has been repeatedly all right one sequence has been repeatedly inserted on at on that particular sequence so what happened it produced the same amino acid which is uh, inappropriate so the result of this will uh, the result of this on the protein the protein might uh, work improperly. Yeah. So that is the uh, repeat expansion. Right? So, next one. Duplication. So, in duplication, so, in duplication, 
uh, it consists of piece of DNA that is abnormally copied one or more times. So this duplication happens in um, in as DNA sequence or at times there are, uh, the duplication happens on a chromosome. So this type of mutation may alter the function of a uh, resulting protein that it will be uh, it will produce. So let's take a look. So what is the duplication looks like? So yeah. So just like your repeated expansion but in chromosome level. So duplication so what will happen here, this particular part is uh, severely duplicated and what happened, this, uh, this particular chromosome will likely to form an error on something. And so the protein that will, that will be formed by this chromosome will be completely an error. Right? So that's the duplication. So example of duplication is the charcoal uh, marie tooth disease. So as you can see, inability of the muscles on feet and uh, feet and hands to function properly yeah so that's the charcot marie tooth disease right so all right so we go now to autosomal aneuploid